Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to see how you can obtain a police clearance certificate or certificate of good conduct in Kenya. Down below here we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website where we have given you a detailed uh, account on how you can go about with the procedure. We have also included external links to websites and uh, links to online application portals where you can visit and make the online application and uh, like the e-citizen portal uh, which is very instrumental in the application process we've also let's shift our attention to the right hand side of the screen we have also included a select language option where you can select a language which uh, is more easily uh, you can easily comprehend like in Kenya, you can choose the Swahili option and by choosing the Swahili option, the uh, wiki procedure page will be translated to the Kenya, uh, the Swahili option. Like you've seen what has just happened right here, but we are going to keep it English for the purposes of this video. And we are going to visit uh, the sites and we are going to see how the application uh process moves on as we move on with the program so the list of items which are going to cover in this session include the need for a certificate of good conduct the eligibility the required documents steps to follow in making the application the applicable fees the validity period processing time offices and contacts locate and contacts and other relevant information this program is brought to you today by wikiprocedure.com welcome Let's look at the need for a police clearance certificate. Is that one? Uh, the police, the police clearance certificate certifies that the applicant has never partaken in any criminal activity that led to the involvement of the Kenya police force. Two is that the certificate of good conduct means that the particular Kenyan holder of the good conduct of the good conduct has been searched in the criminal records of Kenya and no criminal record has been traced oh. three is that the clearance is needed by those who want to change the country of residence another need is that employers in kenya require an individual to provide a valid certificate of good conduct before uh, being offered the employment position the job position and even as a tourist to another country country you'll need the police clearance certificate to show that you do not have an outstanding criminal record back home and ensure that you won't be a threat to your host country. So the eligibility is that in Kenya, a certificate of good conduct is issued to Kenyans residing in Kenya, Kenya residing in foreign countries, foreigners, foreign citizens who are not aliens or refugees in Kenya, and foreign citizens who are aliens and refugees in Kenya. Number two is that a person who is above 18 years of age also is also eligible and the person should be a holder of a second generation national ID card. And three, a child who is below 18 years of age must have an original birth certificate to be issued with the police clearance certificate. I know another side note is that for foreigners, you need to have stayed in Kenya for at least six months. The required documents is that... Uh, Persons above 18 years of age require uh, the, the second national generational ID. A child below 18 years requires a birth certificate. You require two printed copies of your payment invoice from e-citizen. You require one copy of uh, a C2 form printed of both sides of an A4 paper. And you must uh, allow your fingerprints to be taken so that it may be checked against the criminal records of Kenya. Steps to follow. Number one, you should start your application uh, through uh, the online application por portal that is ecitizen.go.ke uh, and let's just go direct to ecitizen and see how the application. So if you have uh, an ecitizen account, just go direct and sign in. If you don't have one, Create an account by clicking this option here. Um, it will lead you to this page. Click on create account again. 
it is going to direct you to this other page where you'll be required to enter your ID number, your names as your, as per the national ID, your valid email address and mobile phone number. After you have entered your required uh, the required information, just click on the continue button and it's going to direct you to the login page after you've validated your account from your email account. And after that, you'll be able to enter your dashboard and access the services which are being offered by eCitizen. And for our purpose today, uh, the police clearance certificate or certificate of good conduct is issued by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. So just click Get Service here and it's going to direct you to the next page. Uh, and the next page, you are supposed to go to the uh, Make Application button and click it. Huh? After clicking that, it's going to direct you to the next page, uh, which looks something like this. The, you're supposed to click the plus button and choose if you want to make the application for an adult or for a child. Uh, another side note is that if you're making an application for a child, a child can you can apply through your an adult's email uh, e-citizen account and that uh, that adult should be a parent or a guardian okay so after you have clicked which type of application you want to make you're going to be direct to the next page and the next page uh, basically just uh, gives you a instruction on how you can how you to the steps of making the application what you need to submit during the uh w during when you uh, <clears throat> during the presentation to the criminal investigation department uh the, you need your id you need your the c4 c24 c24 form printed of both sides of the of an eight a4 paper so just read through the document and just click apply, which is going to direct you to the next page. And in this page, you, you need to choose where you are go you want your fingerprint to be taken. So just in case, let's say we are in Nairobi, you can choose Nairobi, you can choose the location. It's usually, uh, you can choose the DCI headquarters or any Uduma center. In case, let's say in, in Western, Western is going to give me which options. Just wait. Our coast. Oh, West Coast, we have these Oduma centers. Western, give me just Kakamega. So, depending on where you are, choose where you want to go and have your finger, fingerprints taken and then click continue, which is going to direct you to uh, the payments page and you're supposed to pay uh, 1,050 Kenyan shillings and then, uh, and then click complete, which is going to generate an online uh, receipt saying that you've paid. After that, you can print the C2 form, which is a fingerprint printing form and present it to the center which you have already preferred center which you have chosen to have your fingerprint taken and after presentation there uh your details will be taken to the criminal uh, record uh, database to be checked uh, against the criminal record database and after the application is is approved, a police clearance certificate will be generated online and sent to your e-citizen account, and you'll be you'll get an, an SMS notifying you that your your police clearance certificate is ready, and it will be sent to your e-citizen, and you're supposed to print that uh, e-police e clearance certificate on both sides of an A4 paper. And we've already mentioned that the fees uh, is 1,050 shillings. The validity period in Kenya, uh, there is no fixed validity period for the good conduct. The validity itself depends on whoever is requesting the certificate. And so technically, the certificate cannot expire. 
How recent the certificate is will be determined using the date of issuance that is printed on the certificate. But generally speaking, most employers require that the certificate uh, not be more than one or one to two, three years old. And uh, there are in some cases, however, the employer may require this in shorter periods, such as six months. The processing time is two weeks from the date of application. The office locations, uh, the DCI, Directorate of Criminal Investigations, are at Kiambu Road. Um, we can find them online through www.cid.go.ke. Other information is that the Certificate of Good Conduct uh, is issued by the Criminal Investigator Investigation Department in Kenya. And another more important information is that the e-police e clearance certificate can be verified by sending the word DCI to 21546 and you're going to get a response telling you if it's valid or not. Okay, thank you for watching uh, our wiki procedure program on how to get the police clearing certificate or certificate of good conduct. So I will ask you to like like the video down below hit and even more go ahead and hit the subscribe button on our on our youtube page hit the subscribe button uh, tell a friend to tell a friend we have many procedures about different different uh applications different ways to go about different processes all across the globe also visit our wiki procedure page like in the case of kenya we have procedures for 47 country counties for all the 47 counties and uh, different procedures for doing different things so visit our page like our subscribe to our youtube page like this video and share it to your friends so thank you and i wish you all the best in your quest to getting a good conduct certificate in Kenya. Thank you.